This is our introduction to arbor culture, and today we're going to learn how to plant a tree. I imagine most, how many people here have planted trees at one time or another? Little ones or big ones? Okay, that's great. I'm very glad to see that. I, 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 there's, two, there's at least two things that I think everybody who graduates from the College of Environmental Science and Forestry should know how to do. Plant a tree and cut down a tree. There's been a lot of research done in the last 25 or 30 years on growing trees in pots. You'd think that'd be a fairly simple thing. People have been growing various plants in pots for many, many, many decades, and yet we come up with this tremendous variety of pots. So these are foresters type plants where you're planting a thousand trees in an acre, you're planting them in pots like this. If you're arborists and you're, you're planting trees in people's yards, you tend to grow them larger, in larger pots, you grow them to larger diameters, and you don't plant a thousand of them per acre. This is a flower pot. It's got drainage holes in the bottom, that's, though that's better than some pots. You, you ever find a pot that doesn't have drainage holes, just don't even bother. What's wrong with these pots for growing trees? Smooth surface. What's going to happen when you put roots in those? When you, when you put something in that pot, what's it going to do? You have circling roots. You see where this thing was in a container. You can tell just exactly how big that container was. But even if this thing had been in the ground for four or five years, all that happens is these roots grow bigger and this trunk grows bigger and eventually uh, the thing will hang itself. When you're planting a tree in the ground, how you aim the roots is uh, very critical. It will, you can half or double the life expectancy of a tree when you put it in the ground. It looks like, this is, looks like a regular circular pot, but if you see the inside of it, it looks like this. You've got these, um, these ridges, and you've got these little holes. So what will happen is the tree roots grow out to the edge of the pot, and they circle around, then they hit a rib, and then they go down, they hit another rib, and then they crawl out this hole, and then they, they air prune off. See all those holes? This is all holes. You've got all these little, so each one of these, um, you've got mineral deposits from the uh, fertilizer in the soil and from the hard water. But let's take this one apart. Now this, look at the, look at the ridges in that. That was going to get those roots. They were not going to spiral. They were, that, that pot is determined to point those roots away. And it's done a beautiful job. All the roots are nice and loose. All the roots are aimed away from the trunk. This is great. This is a perfect example. How long has this thing been in the ground, in the pot? Two years. Two years. Okay, look at this pot. Look at this pot. What do you see in that pot? Not enough holes. Not enough holes, no ridges on the sides. And what did you get? Look at these roots. Look at those circling roots. So what you do in this case is you cut into the root ball. Am I killing these roots? You betcha. Is the plant going to grow more? You betcha. You've got to dig a big enough hole. You always dig wide, not deep. Uh, it's much more important that you have at least, at least twice the diameter of the uh, root ball that you're putting in the ground. You should have a hole at least twice. And sometimes in, in heavy clay soils, you want at least three times that diameter. You feel ridiculous when you dig this great big wide hole about the size of a bathtub. You put in this relatively small tree. but it really makes a big difference. That tells you how deep you want it. We're just, geez, we're just about there, good Lord. You've got to have the roots so they're right at the surface when you're finally finished and the, the ground is settling and uh, the tree is uh, in its final position. The, the topmost root should be right, right at or even just slightly above the surface of the soil. Even such little things as whether you, you have the very slick sides on the hole. Uh, you scratch up the sides when you plant the tree. I've seen uh, trees planted with huge augers it slicks up the sides of the hole and those roots will grow, grow out to that point and then they won't penetrate into the original soil. You slant the sides of the hole, you have what's called a rain gauge effect where you've got the, the outside of the hole, it collects water so it puddles down in the bottom, you can drown your tree. You can either double or half the life of a tree on the day you plant it. So if you, if you do everything right, um, most trees will grow for the best part of a century. Even fairly, quote, short-lived trees will grow for 50 or 60 years. If you loosen the soil up, if you've got the right soil mix, if you've got all the roots pruned off that are going to eventually would otherwise circle the tree, that tree may last for decades longer. 